right guys, we're out here in the parking lot at Throttle Headquarters and we obviously have our ice cream van here and that's because today we're actually going to remove this monstrosity of a cap on top of this van. Oh, oops. Uh, when it was installed, it was installed kind of haphazardly. It just has a bunch of screws through it that have been painted over a million times. And then it looks like they've just like built up something in the, in the drip rail here to keep it sealed. Uh, obviously that's created some moisture issues and basically rusted the whole van out underneath. I'm gonna be working on separating this today and getting it off the van so we can start putting it on the new van. simply grinding off the heads of the screws and removing all of the interior things that are holding the cap on is not enough. Uh, I'm gonna end up having to probably cut this whole flange off up here because previously they actually bonded it with body fillers and all kinds of silicone sealants and stuff over the years. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and lop all that stuff off and that should get it off of there for us. guys so here's what we're dealing with this is the rail uh, this is effectively a drip rail you can see how rusty it is but they've basically put the fiberglass cap on and then bonded it into place filling the drip rail and then also putting some sort of uh, sealant over top of it as you can see here this is a mess um, actually this isn't even bondo this is actually fiberglass resin so they've actually just filled the drip rail with fiberglass resin in hopes to seal it um, and what that in turn did was uh, captured moisture and rotted out the drip rail. not easy work but somebody's got to do it we're all the way around now I've cut the inside sweating like crazy out here and I think I got it loose yeah. yeah I got it loose just gotta get the front now and probably grab four or five people and should be able to lift this thing off of here dude look what at all that this. like jelly it's like some kind of rubber silicone so one thing that uh, we're gonna have to challenge ourselves with is how to mount this and not recreate the same problem that they had, and that is basically sealing in moisture. Too old for this. So 
our regular ice cream man is in vacation. He's been in vacation for a couple of months. So it's been months since we had ice cream, and here comes this guy. It's a convertible ice cream. Play, playing the song, and we all immediately got excited and ran outside. It was freaking heaven. <laughs> Look at that rust. It's out of control. Look at that. Hey, brother, rust is lighter than carbon fiber, bro. Look at that. This thing served it perfect. Let me show you what I got done so far. The top of the ice cream truck, I have sanded down the majority where all the holes were at, which we are gonna plug. And I sand down the majority of the top part. If you guys can see the difference between that being smooth and this being that smooth, this is still needs to be completely sanded down. Unfortunately, I ran out of time. And not only that, but I make a huge mess in the shop. So I'm gonna clean up as much as I can. I'm not even halfway done with this thing and it's already a huge mess in here. I'll pick it up tomorrow. All right guys, it is day two of something on the top of the band. I'm gonna put you guys on a tripod. I got some brand new pads uh, for the sander and then we are gonna get down. We did the whole top, the, well, most of the top side. I'm gonna finish this side and once I finish this, I'm gonna start on the red part. My goal is to get remove the entire red section of the top. That way we start with a fresh smooth surface and then I'm gonna begin patching the holes. guys just got done sanding as much as I could um, I was talking to Evan and you know this is the uh, removing the red is taking way too long and I don't want to spend three days just taking down this red stuff so what I did is I sand down with a 60 grit paper everything that has a hole on it for patching all these holes I don't, I don't it seems to me like this was maybe at one point like an ambulance back in the 80s the ambulance they literally use the same van that we have and some of them have this this cover on top and it seems like it had the lights right in the perfect spot that an ambulance will same thing out here and in the back i don't know maybe i'm mistaken but it's gonna be an ambulance at, at one point uh, so i'm gonna take everything back inside i'm gonna try to flip this upside down uh, we'll see i'm gonna have to patch the outside first then flip and start working on the other side yeah i need some help though this out see how cool it is look at that done i can throw that away and i can start over with my uh, mixing my body filler 
This is provided by Glenn from the Toro Sales Guy. We'll put a link in the description below, but it's, uh, this thing is freaking awesome. So I just apply some body filler all the way around. Some there. I see I have to cover this one, this one, and all those little holes down there. And this one's on the outside. I'm gonna fix it after, after I flip it upside down. But I'm gonna take care of the stop part first. There she is, she's drying right now. The body filler uh, is still wet, so I can't touch it. And I literally just ran out of time to be here, so I'm going to my next job. So I'll pick up the camera tomorrow. <laughs> it looks like a rowboat. <laughs> All right, so this is the underside of our topper, high top. What's the plan here? Um, to remove all the old shit. Yep. Look at it. It's all the Bondo. Is that silicone or? This is actually caulking, clear caulking, but. Like you get at Home Depot? Yeah. But they also use a combination of hot glue and caulking. This is interesting. That's factory that yeah, it's, it's like it's that. Two pieces. It's two pieces. It's an inner and an outer. And that's what okay. we hear when we pick it up. It's cr creaking. Uh. And stuff. It's trying to come apart. So it's the next day. Our 3M seam sealer has hardened up. It actually added a bit of rigidity to the, to the cap, so that's good. Stuff's great. Um, solid as a rock now here. We, these gaps are all closed up, which is cool. Uh, now we're actually gonna set this thing up on top of the new van uh, for now, and then I'm gonna start cutting the roof off. So one thing that I never did is we never really confirmed that this was gonna fit. So I'm crossing my fingers that the 88 G20 and the 80, I'm sorry, the 83 G20, which was the old van, and the 88 G20 is the same like footprint, I guess you call it. Roof so, print. Roof print, <laughs> yeah, roof print. Uh, so here we go, I'll set you down and let's see if it fits. Look how good it looks. For now, we're just gonna cut a smaller hole than we actually need. Um, we just need to be able to get through the roof to access the outer edges of the roof cap so we can come up with a solution to fixture it to the uh, top of the van. We don't wanna do what the old people did, which was just glue it in place. We actually wanna make some brackets and stuff. So for now, we're gonna just relief us some room so that we can get up in there and have a look, figure out how we want to mount it, and then we'll go back and take out all of the rest of the material and make it real clean. We now have a hole in the roof. That means we might as well keep going. With the old, in with the new. It's all a bit of an audible. Woo! It's so good to be standing in here. 
Oh yeah! I think we leave that as a shelf. I know, that's pretty nice. Because we're going to have the cooler cool here. Anyway. This will be good storage. And we also have shelving up here. Storage up here. Woo, good work. Obviously, a lot of work to do to clean it up, but... Not going to lie, Ricky's going to be bummed he's sick today. Yeah. He really wanted to be a part of this. You snooze, you lose, Ricky. Oh, how nice is it in here? This is pretty cool. I don't think, I've never been in an ice cream shop. So this, this was here. You guys were like yeah. squat. Oh yeah. So now you got plenty of room. All right guys, now that uh, the roof has been cut on the van, ta-da! We've got all the parts laid out that have come in so far. There's a lot more coming in. We have a ton of stuff coming in from Advanced Auto Parts, but we'll run through some of the things that we picked up. Where are the lights? We don't have lights we yet. We got new light surrounds and no new yeah. lights? Yeah. So we got what, new, that's a new lens for the turn signal, I'm assuming? Yep, new headlights. We're gonna get some LED headlights. Yeah, for sure. We got a new grill. Curl, curl mirror bumper. Yep. Should probably get blacked out maybe? Or yeah. Wrap them. I don't know. Maybe yeah. you guys should tell us. We're not gonna run chrome on this, are we? I think we should wrap it. New grill. That's gonna get refinished too. That'll get refinished. The Ryobi generator, which is in a previous video. We got a new fridge from our friends over at New Air. This holds 120 cans of monsters. So if you guys see us at an event, we'll have a cold monster waiting for you. And we have a perfect location for this yeah, too. This is gonna be this is gonna be one of my favorite parts of this van is how to integrate this into it. I think I already have an idea. A uh, fantastic vent, which is the hood vent that goes on top. The old one was like a clapped out camper one. Uh, this one's cool because it's one, it's tinted. So it's not gonna let the heat in. It also has a screen in it, and it also has a clear Lexan fan built into it. So we can turn the fan on and off, and get the hot air out or vice versa. We got some Ikea cabinets that we picked up off Craigslist. These will get uh, refinished in an appropriate finish for the inside of the van when they're done, but this is the finish they came in. So this is an awesome component we got from our friends at AccuAir. This is the Endo CVT system with E-Level Plus. That's gonna be going on this van as well, so we can air out. And on top of the AccuWire system, we actually have our new cooler, which you guys also saw in a previous video. Um, and I think now it's only appropriate to mock this stuff up, make sure we have room for everything. We've done some measuring and some footprinting, but until you actually put the components in the van, you don't really know how it's gonna lay out or how it's gonna feel. So a huge shout out goes out to New Air. Check out this placement of the cooler. I think it's sick. That's perfect. So you a actually- little, little pad on top here. Have SOS whip us up a little armrest for it. There we go. It's kind of pimping, dude. So whenever we go to events, we always are looking for drinks and having like an igloo cooler, like the previous ice cream truck, it just won't cut it. Let me just grab a monster out of here. Oh. So this thing fits 120 soda cans, which is pretty awesome. We can run it off the generator that we already have. The only thing is it might be a little intrusive to the driver's elbow. Hmm. We need to check that out. You don't have to shift or anything in the center. It's fine, dude. Not too bad. I think it's fine. I mean, it's pretty comfy. I <laughs> so if anyone is interested in a new air cooler, they make all sorts of different refrigerators and coolers from wine coolers to uh, soda can coolers or beer coolers or whatever. Check out the link in the description and grab yourself one. We will be sure to check in once we got this thing all fired up and loaded up with drinks, but we'll be sure to let you guys know how it does once it's all set up. Thank you, New Air. So we got storage in the back. I think that can work. Make a cool little trim plate. That flips. Yeah. Can't oh remember. man. We'll put some lighting up there. Couldn't have planned that any better. Mickey brought a good point. So we have two of these cabinets, so four total. We'll be putting merch and miscellaneous stuff. This one can double as a seat. Well, depending on how the, because we're going to put a merch rack here, which is like the steel, like wrought iron squares. We have one. I'll we go, have gra it. I'll go we'll grab, grab one. I'll go grab we have, We're going to make this wall somehow flat and then we'll hang with t-shirts, hats, keychains, stickers, all that stuff on the merch wall here. And then you'll come to the side door and be able to look at all the stuff and we'll have a, a board somewhere, I'm sure outside mm. of the van. And then this is gonna be a countertop here. Yeah, uh, I like yeah. the cooler, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, big, I'm big on the fridge. <laughs> I think it's so cool and the fact that, how we get so lucky that 
That thing is a perfect size. This thing is a perfect size. It's perfect. Let's see, let's toss the, the, sure you get homework. the freezer in here and let's see how that fits and just see kind of how the flow looks and then we can grab that rack. Check out the van, dude. Step inside, brother. Step into the love machine. Look at that cooler placement. Sorry. Very can nice. Stand yeah. up in there, okay? Yeah, he's no, leaning I'm, over. I'm just over here. <laughs> so, so this is also going to be a stool, right? All right. So we'll be able to be level. Yeah, and it'll have like a seat on it, right? Yeah, watch your head on the. Don't get tennis. Yeah. Other cabinet system fits up top. So we got storage there. Yeah. Right and then we'll have a, a countertop here. A little marble countertop. All right. That's all the time we have for them today. Is that all the time we have for them today? Is that all the time, Vic? That's all the time we got. All right. It's time to go home. Thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate it. Each and every one of you. If you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up. Maybe drop us a comment. Let us know what you think about the layout in here. If you've ever worked on an ice cream truck or if you own one, maybe you can give us some pointers. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.